एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन हाउ टू सॉल्व एरर्स इन एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो इन जस्ट फ्यू मिनट्स वन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट दैट हाउ डू वी फाइंड एंड आइडेंटिफाई एरर्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ लॉक कैट यू कैन क्लिक ऑन द आई बटन टू वॉच दैट वीडियो ऑल राइट सो वाई डिवेलपिंग एंड्रॉयड एप्लीकेशन इन एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो वी ऑफ्टन फेस एरर्स डेट कैन बी डिफिकल्ट टू सॉल्व राइट एंड डेट्स वेर चैट जी पी टी कम्स इन द पिक्चर चैट जी पी टी इज एन ए आई पावर चैट बॉट डेट कैन हेल्प यू सॉल्व ऑल योर एरर्स इन एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो क्विकली एंड ईजीली पर्सनली आई यूज स्टैक ओवर फ्लो एज वेल एज चैट जी पी टी टू सॉल्व ऑल माई एरर्स एंड बोथ ऑफ दम वर्क एज अ चार्म बट चैट जी पी टी इज वेरी कंटेक्स स्पेसिफिक एंड इट विल प्रोवाइड यूर डिटेल सोल्यूशन सो इफ यू आर अ बिगनर डिवेलपर देन आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज टू मेक द मोस्ट यूज ऑफ इट So yeah with that said let's move to our android studio first open your android project let me give you an overview of this project so basically in activity main.xml we have a button with id as my button okay and in main activity we have declare my button and inside on create method we have set on click listener on my button with a toast So basically, when you click on that button, then a toast will appear as you have clicked a button. Simple, right? But if you will notice carefully, we have not initialized the button. Hence, it will throw an error. As a beginner, you might not aware about it. That's why we will solve this error with a beginner's perspective. Now, I have already showed you in one of my previous video that how to identify errors with the help of Lockcat. So I won't go in detail about it. All right? Now first run the application and wait till the build is finished. As you can see build failed because an error was captured in the logcat. Let's read the error. Attempt to invoke virtual method on a null object reference. Now it's quite a generalized error. So if you copy paste the error on Google, then it will show you a generalized response only. but if you copy paste the same error in chat gpt it will show you an exact solution let me show you how so first copy the error and paste it in chat gpt Now, if you will press enter, then it will show you a generalized answer only. But we want to be more specific. Hence, we will copy the code as well and paste it below the error. Then hit enter. The ChatGPT AI model will use its natural language processing capability to understand your query and provide an appropriate step-by-step -step solution that you can follow to solve the error. If the error is complex, ChatGPT may provide you with the links to external resources that can help you understand the error better. So let's understand ChatGPT solution. it says that you have not initialized my button and being very specific it shows you the exact line that needs to be implemented not only that but it also shows you the exact position for that line as well as we have not provided activity main so the ai is not aware about the button id hence it says that you have to add your own button id Now after reading the entire solution let me add this particular line in my code at the same position
as it previously said that add your own button id so go to activity main and our button id is my button so instead of your button write my button and that's it done now let's run the app and see if the chat gpt solution works or not great app has successfully launched without any errors so now if i click on the button then a toast appears perfect hence the app works absolutely fine thanks to chat gpt but if you face any error while developing android applications don't hesitate to try chat gpt as well as stack overflow it will save you a lot of time and efforts so yeah that is it for the video and i'll see you in the next video